problems with that proposal. Shannon. All right, Julie Kurtz with the latest. Thank you. Well, joining us now with more on the investigation is the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Con Congressman Sylvester Reyes, and also the ranking Republican on the committee, Congressman Pete Hoekstra. Gentlemen, welcome to both of you. Hey, good afternoon. Good morning. Congressman Reyes, I'd like to start with you. Uh, what is the status of our relationship with Pakistan, and how good a job do you think that they're doing in helping in these uh, terror situations? Well, I think in general terms, uh, Pakistan realizes that uh, uh, their security is being threatened by al-Qaeda and uh, uh, the Taliban in, in these uncontrolled areas of their country. So our relationship uh, with them, I think, is very good. They, uh, uh, they are allowing us uh, uh, to work with them to uh, uh, try to eliminate these threats uh, to them and to us. Hey, Congressman Hoekstra, I want to turn to you. Uh, we're now getting word from the president's top counterterrorism uh, advisor, John Brennan, and also Attorney General Eric Holder this morning. They're convinced there is now a link between this attack in Times Square, the attempted attack, and the Pakistani Taliban. You said a few days ago if that link was made, it would be a game changer. How so? Well, what it now indicates is that not only is al-Qaeda on the Arabian Peninsula, that group that they've targeted the United States, uh, but you now have the Taliban out of Pakistan saying that they have targeted the United States. You put that to the kind of lone wolf threat that of emerging terrorists here in the United States. This now becomes a very, very complex picture. We have to worry about al-Qaeda on the Arabian Peninsula, the Taliban from Pakistan, homegrown terrorism. It now clear. We now have clear threats to the homeland, and we've seen them play out in the last six months. We saw them at Fort Hood. We saw it on Christmas Day. We saw it at Times Square. With these kinds of imminent threats to the United States, we need to really focus, as Joe Lieberman said this morning, on what steps do we need to take so that we can get into prevention and make sure that we do not have any more failures in intelligence that allow us to get so close to a successful attack against the United States on our home soil. And Congressman Reyes, with that mention of uh, failures in national intelligence, I know that you have expressed concerns that this issue could be used for political gain, uh, that there is some gamesmanship going on. Is that a fair uh, accusation? Well, sure. It, it's an election year. Uh, you've got uh, uh, the Republican side uh, trying to make uh, uh, Democrats look weak on national security. Uh, when when uh, Peter talks about failures, I'm assuming He's talking about 9-11 because uh, arresting the, the, the guy that, that tried to carry out the act in Times Square in 53 hours, I think, is, is pretty significant and, and pretty good, both police work and intelligence uh, cooperation, which is the fundamental reason that we set up the, uh, the uh, Office of the Director of National Intelligence so that these uh, uh, stovepipes that were an issue on 9-11 uh, instead would turn into cooperation, as was shown by this latest case. And I think there is great praise on both sides of the aisle for that amazing teamwork and law enforcement work that that got to this guy in just 53 hours. But, Congressman Hoekstra, is your complaint that he should have never gotten as far as he did? Well, absolutely. I think that's exactly what Joe Lieberman, the chairman of the Homeland Security Committee, over on the Senate side said, sure, the police work after the fact was awesome, capturing this guy in 53 hours. Great work. But as Homeland Security... And as the intelligence community, we need to be in the business of prevention. Everybody recognizes that we should have and we probably could have stopped Has uh, Hassan at Fort Hood if we had recognized the signals and acted on it. Same thing with the Christmas Day bomber. The system failed. There were enough signals. There was enough communication that we should have been in position to stop the Christmas Day bomber. And I think that over the coming weeks, we will find out that there may have been enough information that if all the... If all the parts of the intelligence community had been working together effectively, this guy would never have gotten to Times Square and we would have stopped him. Just think of how different the dialogue would be today if the Christmas Day bomber and the Times Square bomber had both been successful. It would have been a huge failure and we got very, very close to that situation in the last couple of months. We need to be in the business of prevention, stopping this, not law enforcement, not prosecution, stopping these types of events. Congressman Reyes, I'll give you the final word on how the uh, administration is doing. Well, I, I don't disagree. Uh, I, I think the solution is to continue to work together. I don't think that politicizing national security 
uh, in any way uh, is, is an answer because the consequences, as Peter just said, are, are very real. Whether you go back and look at Richard Reed uh, or any of the other cases that uh, we have for one reason or another been able to stop, the bottom line is we need to work together, we need to have a strategy, we need to continue to learn and uh, uh, eliminate uh, as we go the, the issues that come up uh, as these cases uh, are brought uh, uh, to the forefront. So we've got a lot of work to do. It's a very serious uh, issue, and I just hope uh, we can continue to work together on this. Congressman Reyes, Congressman Hoekstra, thank you both for taking time away from your families on Mother's Day. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks.